In addition, the shape of the blade, it's a long, narrow blade, and it's beefy enough that, you know, it's not going to flex. It's a super tough blade. Uh, it's long enough that even, I mean, really, really big fish, you can get in there and really quickly dispatch them, you know, put them out of any suffering or safe manner. The third thing I really like about the Terminator knife is definitely the sheath. The design is the best I've ever seen on the market as far as ease and dependability. You can push the knife in and it'll click in and you honestly don't have to worry about it. It's going to stay in there. I've never lost one. As a double up here, you can take the bungee and you can clip it along the end of the knife and then there's no way this thing's coming out. It might seem like kind of a lot to do, you know, you click it in, then you have the bungee, and if you're in a hurry and you have a fish on, you don't know if you can get the knife out fast enough. It's never been a problem for me to just grab the blade and pull it all the way out and it just pops straight off. And then it's in your hand, it's ready to go, you're ready to subdue your catch. And uh, for me, just having a well-designed piece of equipment like that on my belt makes a big difference. Hey guys, Dave here again with Mako Spear Guns, and today Dano is going to show us some features of the Mako Spear Guns high pressure floats. When Dano designed these floats using a Zodiac nose cone, we knew they'd be popular, but we had no idea they'd become this popular. During the design and testing phase, Dano found that the Zodiac nose cone could be pulled effortlessly through the water. Even in current, there is minimal drag compared to other floats. In addition to the streamlined shape of the nose cone, the stainless steel D-ring and the geometric design of the heavy-duty strap further reduces drag and eliminates tangling with your buddy's float lines in sargassum weed. Equally important to the highly efficient hydrodynamic design, the near bulletproof Zodiac nose cone also adds to the overall ruggedness of the float. The Zodiac nose cone can bang into rocks, coral propellers, even razor sharp trim tabs and it will not puncture. Don't try this with any other float. In addition to the nose cone, Dano added another important feature, a handle on the back of the float for enhanced safety. This is something that other floats do not have but is badly needed. Also mounted on the back of the float is a second stainless steel D-ring for attaching accessories and note the location of the Schrader inflate valve. In addition to designing the nose so that it would not get caught up on your buddy's float line and sargasm weed, Dano also placed the inflate valve on the back of the float instead of on the side of the float. This positioning of the valve is very important as it also eliminates tangles with float lines and seaweed. The Mako high pressure floats are available in three sizes, the 15 liter, 30 liter, and the humongous 60 liter. Because these floats can handle higher pressure than your typical lung filled floats, they can maintain their full lift capacity even when towed underwater to a depth of three atmospheres. And for those of you who shore dive, 
we offer two 15 liter high pressure floats, one with and one without a removable dive flag. Notice here how Dano designed the 15 liter dive flag float with a removable sailboat style weighted keel that keeps the flag upright with hardly any drag whatsoever. As you can see, the Mako Speargun's high pressure floats are uniquely designed and produced to be the absolute highest quality spearfishing floats available. And because Mako Speargun sells direct to you, the diver, instead of through dive shops, these floats actually cost less than other floats that lack these high performance features found only on the Mako Speargun's high pressure floats.